machine like this for the design tree we start by selecting the machine type which is centrifugal compressor in this case and then the next section is the spec step and here we specify a single stage and then we select the impeller vane diffuser and a vane return channel components since we are interested in designing a section of a multi-stage compressor and then the design point specifications which is the rotational speed the mass flow rate and the stage total pressure ratio spe specifications which are generally uh, part of the specs and the fluid in this case is ideal gas and then we have this cordial diagram here which immediately shows that this design sits close to the cordial line and so the given specs can lead to a high performing centrifugal compressor stage now the next section is stage composition where we specify some more details of about the different components so starting with the impeller we need to specify the inlet hub diameter which generally comes from shaft strength considerations it's also possible to specify an inlet velocity profile the outlet velocity calculation method and some optional parameters to impose various inlet and outlet dimensions and the number of blades now for the diffuser we can also set some dimensions and the number of diffuser veins and then finally for the return channel we can impose quite a selection of dimensions such as those affecting the maximum casing casing height and the return channel curvature now we don't need to change anything in the convergence parameters and then we can run the calculation and in less than a second we have the flow path of the entire stage along with some basic dimensions and estimates of efficiency and the rvt star which is like the work coefficient for the different components along the stage and as we scroll down the report we have some more details on the components such as the pressures and the velocity triangles as well and do make sure that this option here is selected as this will automatically export the parameterized meridional flow path for all the different stage components from td free all the way to multi-point multi-objective design optimization in turbo design one and then finally with this button here we can save all the files which will later be used for the 3d inverse design of the impeller the diffuser vein and the return channel vein in turbo design one and then we also have these performance curves available such as the stage total to total pressure ratio against the mass flow rate so this is the design point here and you also get some idea of the off design performance at other mass flow rates and other rotational speeds then we have the efficiency map where we can see that the duty point has been met at a sufficiently high efficiency level and finally some power curves as well and with that information we can then proceed to the three-dimensional design of the compressor stage